Ever eat ramen? It saved Japan from starvation. Because after World War II, Japan's in a bad place. The US did this, and all their farms fail. So there's not enough food, and half the country starts dying of starvation. But then, America comes to the rescue? We feel bad about the boom booms and send Japan millions of tons of wheat so they can make bread. Except Japan doesn't eat bread, so they make wheat noodles, but they suck. They taste gross and go bad quickly. So if you don't live near a noodle stall, you still starve. But then the government gives up and starts making bread because the starvation's gotta stop. But this guy Momofuku thinks bread's terrible because it'll ruin Japanese culture. So he vows to make wheat noodles work and get moving in the kitchen, except everything he tries fails and Japan's starving. But then his wife tries something he didn't, tempura. It dries the noodles so they can ship anywhere and save Japan. And today we eat 100 billion ramen packets per year. Ever use WhatsApp? It's not free. Here's how they sell you to make billions. So in 2014, Facebook CEO Zuck's a rich boy because he takes our data and sells it so companies can bombard us with ads. But then Google declares war on Zuck because his ads are too good so companies stop buying Googles and Google's losing billions. But then Google finds Zuck's secret weapon, Facebook and Insta DMs. We tell our secrets there and they're worth more than gold so Zuck sells them. But Google finds a place we tell more secrets. WhatsApp. We send 100 billion messages per day, so Google tries to buy them. But a spy tells Zuck and he does something insane. He offers them $19 billion, but they gotta sign now. And they take it. So Zuck starts selling WhatsApp messages. But then, disaster strikes. We find out he's selling our secrets and demand he stops. Except now WhatsApp makes no money. But then he realizes something. He can't sell your data, but he can sell you. So he launches this, and brands pay to send us a billion messages per week.